Hey guys, so we're out here in my backyard and I um, I kind of want to do a pond for a little bit. You know, I'm in Colorado, so it's not, not like I can have a pond for a very long time without heaters. But I'm going to try try a little pond out here. And this is this is just a big pot that we got from Costco, so nothing nothing fancy. I thought about getting, you know, a Rubbermaid tub or any, something like that. But I'm starting with this. I think it's, I don't know, maybe 30... 30, 40 gallons. I, I did the math once and I don't remember what it was to be honest, but I've had these plants out here for a while. Um, this is kind of a shade area, so it doesn't get tons of sun, but it does get enough sun that some of these plants are, were looking better than others. Uh, and then I recently planted, I don't know if you can see them down there, but there's a couple pots and I got, just got some Rotala indica. There's some Java moss in there and there's some dwarf sage. So I'm going to throw this in here. Um, I've seen some mosquito larvae kind of around here, so I, and the, the temperatures are starting to be more consistently warm, so I'm actually acclimating a couple fish in here. So I've got two kind of adult and endler females, one adult male that you can kind of see there. He's he's a blue guy. Um, it's not coming out great on this camera, but uh, regardless, and then there's there's three or four babies in there that. Um, I'm going to throw in. I hope the babies are all right. I was trying not to, I was trying mainly just to have adults, but um, I really didn't have a ton of adults. So I'm going to throw some of the younger ones in there and I think they'll be all right and be able to handle it. The lows over here are getting in the 50s, 60s, but uh, I've checked the water temperature and it doesn't get too bad. It seems like um, this pot holds temperature decently well and, and it's on this concrete pad and there's a black rock that seems to keep some decent heat. So pretty excited about this. First time I've ever done a little pond, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll probably throw some shrimp in here a little bit later too, and, and once the java moss gets going a little bit more, I threw a bunch in there, you can't see it at all, but um, regardless, uh, yeah, probably throw some blue velvet shrimp in here and, and see if they take off, but I'm really hoping that these guys, because there's, there's one fat pregnant female for sure in there, um, and another one that's pretty close. I hope that these guys start breeding and, um, you know, by the end of summer, I can come out here, pull the pond out and have, you know, 50 or 60 of these guys is really the goal. So yeah, I just want to share that. And if anyone else has any pond experiences or anything they want to share, please feel free to let me know. So, um, thanks for watching.